Okay, here we go. 1922 Maple Street. Okay, you enter in a little like vestibule with coat rack here and actually a closet on this side, which they probably added that closet because I think there's a window actually in the closet. Like, well, you can't see it, but there's a window. Okay, so you come out and you are in the living room. It has hardwood floors. It's really cute, nice living room. And then this is the dining room. Neat fixtures, neat little phone area. Go around this way into the kitchen which has new stainless steel appliances and new um, hardware, new, new dishwasher, new hardware on the um, uh, kitchen cabinets. Nice nook with um, nice light fixture. And if you look out this back window, I don't know if I can show you exactly, but the border, your, the garage is back there, but this is the church parking lot, and that's all the church. So that's kind of nice. We're going to come back through the kitchen. This is the way to the basement, which we'll go down there later. We're going to go back on the first floor into the dining room, into the living room, and around the corner where we have one bedroom behind the living room, has two windows, closet, and then you come out of the bedroom into the bathroom, which has a pedestal sink, ceramic tile, glass block. The tile in this bathroom is really nice. All of it's really nice, and the glass block is really nice. So then we're going to come back out, there's a little chute to the basement, and then Obviously, this is just a little, like, linen closet. So, we're going to go upstairs next. So, we go up the stairs. There is a window on the landing. Again, you can see the church out there. Turn around this way. Here's the chute again. Come up here and there's number bedroom number one. There's a little bit of drywalling that needs to be repainted over, but and the floors could stand to be redone. They're not, they're not, they they could be redone, but they're really probably okay. And then you come through here the hallway, and there's a little closet right there. Which if somebody wanted to, that's where they could probably put a bed bathroom. If they wanted to, they'd have obviously not in the closet, but they'd have to take out this this bedroom has a bed in it, but they'd have to take out this closet and make it into the the two closets. That's a cedar closet too. So you really don't need to because you've got the bathroom right down at the foot of the stairs. But if somebody wanted to, they could take these two closets because this one's pretty big and deep make it into um, a bathroom off the hall, and then put new closets in the bedroom, I think. So now we're gonna go back down the stairs. And I'm gonna take you back through the kitchen. And we're gonna go living room, dining room, kitchen. And we're gonna go down the steps into the basement. Basement has um, drywall. Um, as you can see, part of the um, tile has been removed around the edges, but it does have, it has um, drywall. And when I look at this drywall, it doesn't appear that the, I mean, not drywall, paneling. It doesn't appear that the paneling has moisture damage, but 
they've taken up the bat, you know, the flooring, so I'm not sure exactly what all has happened down here. So this is under the living room and dining room. You can see that it's like this. And then this is the, under the kitchen. And there is actually a full bath down here. <laughs> there's the sink, there's the toilet, and here's the shower. And you can shower next to the furnace. But you could, it would be very simple to block, box that in and make a nice little bathroom and box in the um, furnace area. And then come around this way into the washer and dryer area, which is on the other side of that. You can see the water heater again. There's a washer and dryer. And it looks like um, the, the brick's dark and it's, it, it appears to be um, flaking off a little bit, or the, the cement block. And it should be, it could be washed up and look a lot better. There's a nice electrical panel. It could be, and there's, here's where I look for evidence of moisture. So there's been moisture down here somehow. But, um, I don't know. It's, it's a pretty nice little house. And I've had it listed for a while, and it's been, the basement's totally been dry. So I don't know how or when. It was wet. And then, let's see if I can show you out the back door. There's a little covered porch and a nice yard, which I want. And then, as you can see, there's basketball courts over there, so I'm sure you could use those. There's a one-car garage. And this is a little covered porch.